Hi guys, Josh here. Welcome to Frames Per Second. Today we're here with Bronte. Hey guys. And we're doing a little photo shoot, six, late 60s, early 70s inspired. And we're just going to have some fun with that, shooting a few cameras, a few different films. So today I'm loading up some Cinestill Black and White Double X, which has just come out in 120, though who knows when this video will actually be up. Yeah, so we're going to do that in my Lumia C330, which is a TLR, and we'll see how they turn out. This has been out in 35mm for quite some time, but it only just came out in 120 and I'm pretty sure in my original video I said I'd probably prefer to shoot it at 120, so now we can finally do it. So this is actually a cinema film that's been cut down, so you can put it on here. And it's like films like Schindler's List and Memento were shot with this kind of film. See if you can stand on the middle in that little sunspot there. And just like... But yeah, it's a great film, obviously. It's a motion picture film. And they're usually really high quality. It's a film I like a lot, and I've even pushed it one stop to good results, though I don't know if I could push it any more than that. And it's also super contrasty, as you can see coming up. Here, I was metering it at 200, but yeah, here you can see, even though it is super contrasty, you can still get a decent amount of detail from the shadows and also in the highlights there. I was honestly half expecting the background to be fully blown out, but you can still see the filmer writing there. And even here in this shot, you can still see a little bit of the detail in the background, even though it is completely covered in shade and so there is solid dynamic range but it is still super contrasty so unless you're lighting it with nice soft lighting just be aware yeah. but even here we got a lot of detail in the background from that bounced light and yeah decent detail in the shadows there and here as well it was pretty bright we had a lot of direct sunlight and yeah, I thought the shots came out pretty well for this location. <laughs> the other shots I did in other cameras for this shoot are my favorite because they're in color and I felt like these locations definitely benefited from color, but I just wanted to see how this film turned out and just thought for my first roll it'd be exciting to do a photo shoot. Here the shadows definitely look a bit darker, though you can still get some detail from stuff in the background. And yeah, this is a fun shoot with our model Bronte going for a late 60s kind of vibe. And this shot I like the most out of this location. And yeah, good detail like the composition, but yeah, the contrast is real. <laughs> While there is a bit of a gray, it, it's a lot of just going straight to black and straight to white compared to other film stocks like HP5. I wasn't completely happy with all these shots. Like I think this shot could be framed a little bit lower. It's definitely got that contrast that you seem to find in Kodak films like Tri-X. And there used to be a motion picture version of Tri-X back in the day. I I do like this one. I like a lot of contrast, but I do kind of wish it was a bit faster, but that's kind of why Tri-X is around if you're doing stills. Unfortunately, yeah, you can only get double X as far as motion picture black and white film goes these days. But it does have a quality that you can achieve in stills film like Tri-X or even other Ilford stocks like maybe FP4. Standing here. HU5 definitely has more of a flatness to it, but the backs here are really nice and deep, as you can see in her pants, but you still get nice details in the whites, and still some details in the darker parts. This was also just an excuse to use my C330 more, because I've been neglecting it a bit, so it was fun shooting a TLR again, though I do think some of my compositions weren't exactly what I was aiming for, they were just a little bit off as far as the vertical goes either had too much headroom or cropped a little bit too much but they're all usable shots 
Mumia makes great sharp lenses. Though I will say just be careful with the blacks because the contrast is quite strong. This is a film that I do like, but when I shot it in 35, I definitely felt like I would enjoy this a lot more in 120. And I do I do like it a lot more here. And I just think the way I exposed it, the grain wasn't too much either. But I definitely think it is a film that I would rather use for street than portraiture. It's nice contrast, but you still get a lot of detail. And as far as Cinestill films go, it is quite cheaper than the color film stocks they have. So yeah, I, I knew I was gonna like it in 120, and I do. And so it, yeah, it's it was just nice to confirm that and to actually get a chance to shoot it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like the images. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Let us know which ones are your favorite, what cameras you like, what film you liked. And guys, please like and subscribe. Turn this post notifications on when there's a new episode. Anyway, let's step Bronte. I would thank Diana Lina behind the camera for the help with makeup and just assisting. And just get out there, shoot some film. Thank <laughs> you.